Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena from Wholeness Campaign. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through a day in my Sunday life. Um, just walking you through a new routine that I've kind of trying to start where I am meal prepping most of my food on Sunday as opposed to doing all of my cooking throughout the week. Now, part of the reason that I have started to do this and again, I've only really done it a couple times, so I'm really not sure still if it will stick, is because I really do um, feel like being pregnant and working full time, I really just do not have the energy at the end of the day to be creative and cook, and so I oftentimes am resorting to really not so tasty, not so fun meals, and um, or we're just like getting really cheap food, you know, my version of cheap, you know, expensive stuff that I can get at Whole Foods. So that's not the most sustainable option and I'm trying to kind of change some of that. However, last week it did take me a really long time and I was really exhausted after and I can't be exhausted this week because I have a friend's birthday party tonight. And so I wanna kind of take you through what I'm doing today. I do a little bit of cleaning on Sunday. I do, um, you know, now my cooking for the week and then also I need to make some more deodorant. So I will take you through that but I hope you enjoy this first vlog um, because I really do think that sharing my life from a kind of personal perspective can give people a lot of hope and a lot of you know vision for their own lives and what they're looking forward to this year. So let's go. So I am going to be doing quite a few things this morning, um, but first let me show you I know this isn't everybody's ideal, you know, form of deodorant, but I do feel like it works the best for where I'm at right now. So I use arrowroot powder, shea butter, a few different essential oils, um, oh, lavender, grapefruit, and tea tree. And then I will also use a little bit of coconut oil. And this is just some extra shea butter. Um, I'm gonna use up. So that's really it. I mean, it's a very, very simple. All I'm really doing is melting all these ingredients together. So I'd like to get this started first, just because I feel like if I don't get it started first, it's not gonna happen. And you know what happens when you don't have deodorant and then the week, you really stink. So that's high priority. <laughs> This is just a recipe that I got from Bumblebee Apothecary and I will actually link it in the description below. It's super great. She's got a whole blog post on how to make it and everything, but basically I'm just gonna stick these guys first, um, just the two oils, the shea butter and the coconut oil into um, like a double broiler, you know, basically just a pot with some water and wait for it to get all melted and then I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. While that gets going, I'm gonna get started on some dishes because we are getting there. Yeah. So this really is kind of the first step to <laughs> prepping all of my food for the week. And um, again, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to prep every single thing I think I did last week, but let me show you this deodorant. Okay, so as you can see, it's like pretty much almost all the way melted, um, hot enough at least to stir. 
in some other ingredients. So I may have just missed some of that footage, but basically here we are at the end and I was just cleaning as I go, which again is kind of my hack for making sure that I don't end up with a total train wreck of a kitchen. Um, literally just washing and putting things away as I'm adding them to the dish, I'm putting it right back. Um, yeah, and this is the final product. This will last me and my husband both, honestly, probably three months, which is crazy because most deodorants really don't last that long. Um, yeah, all natural ingredients. Um, not all organic, this one shea butter. Usually I try for all organic, but this shea butter this time was just from Whole Foods, but no fillers or additives or anything like that. So I really try to make sure that what I'm putting on my skin is also what I would put in my mouth for the most part, so. Okay, so now that I've gotten that deodorant made, I'm going to start with the food and I've gotten the dishes done. So I feel like I can kind of use the things that I actually need. I am just eating a little bit of my leftover quiche from last week. I just, it was a very simple recipe. I wouldn't even, I don't even call it a recipe, but basically just eggs on top of this simple almond flour mix. So very delicious, very simple, very easy. I'm probably going, I'm going to make the same thing this week. And again, I do like to ferment my nuts. So um, keeping those overnight soaked, fermenting, and then I will be popping it all in the oven. So let me show you what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bit of a snack break. I've got a chicken salad here that I kind of makeshifted from some leftovers and it is all very good, very good. So, um, you guys know that I'm pregnant, you know that um, my husband and I are expecting in July and so again, this whole morning process, I'm trying to like pace myself with my energy levels so that I can hopefully enjoy tonight and my, my friend's party. So um, we got a lot still pending over there on the counter. I don't know if you can see, but I am taking it easy, pacing myself. Um, I think I'm gonna really just try to get breakfast done this morning um, for the week so that we have this quiche that we can just grab in the mornings. The mornings are a little bit busy with like supplements and things that we gotta do around the house and then getting my husband out the door. And so if we can have something that's a little bit easier, that has been really helpful. And then we do have a ton of leftovers. So I'm trying to be strategic and not make a ton of new stuff when we have leftovers because we gotta eat those leftovers for the budget. So maybe not gonna make any dinners this morning, but I will probably make a few different lunch things, things that we can get grab and go. I'm planning on having key lime pie smoothie this week because I felt so good last week when I had like a full key lime pie smoothie with tons of high quality fat and 
egg yolks and all of that in it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm also gonna prep some tuna for my husband and um, we've got our salad mixes that we're gonna be grabbing from as well as, I've lost my list, so I'm a little bit scattered. I think it's in the car that they all took to go to church this morning. So, so I'm kind of trying to do this by memory, but probably gonna wait on that. Just focus on lunches and breakfasts. I've honestly been a little bit all over the place as to whether plants have been helpful or not helpful during this pregnancy. I was a little bit more sensitive to plants before pregnancy, but then digestively I've just not been the same since being pregnant. So just really random things that I'm kind of trying to keep under control. Things I haven't struggled with in a while kind of flaring back up. Um, so I was avoiding plants for a while, or trying to avoid most plants at least, and it was going well, but it also just wasn't the most practical. And I started kind of like gagging at some of the higher fat foods that I was eating. So I needed to kind of balance it all out. Right now I'm back on plants. It feels good. Um, but yeah, I think my biggest thing, and I'll talk about this in another video, but it was really just managing like what supplements really have been triggering me and um, trying to get the dosing right for different supplements. Like my body has been craving magnesium, but at the same time, I really don't do well with supplementing it right now. But I do really well if I take an hour long bath and Epsom salt at night. That's challenging because an hour at night is kind of a lot. I always started to kind of dread being in the bath, but um, yeah, I'm trying to find the kind of different supplements that work because I know some of them have been triggering it and I'm not sure whether food has been the trigger or supplements. And so I feel like my body is like a totally different body being pregnant and it's like I'm figuring it all out again. Like I, I really kind of had it down before I got pregnant and now it's like all up in the air. So I'm eating plants for right now. I feel good on them. Added magnesium back in. Was doing fine with plants. I think the magnesium really is a problem. But I'm taking all different kinds of forms of it to try to test out different things. Taking different dosings. My midwives want me to do more magnesium. My GAPS practitioner wants me to do more magnesium, so I'm like really trying. But every time I introduce it, it's like not really going well. So I'm pretty sure that's the common denominator. But yeah, I've done a few weeks without plants and I felt so good. So who knows? Just, just trying to figure it all out. One thing that has been really interesting that I've seen on a lot of GAPS chats and group chats and things like that is apple cider vinegar being a really good kind of, you know, basically like yeast support while you're pregnant because yeast flares up when you have a growing baby. I presume just to protect the baby from any kind of toxins that might still be in your body. And so, I've had a lot of like random yeast symptoms that I hadn't had in a really long time, honestly. Some of them that I've never had ever. And apple cider vinegar has been kind of a good hack, so I've been putting it in my salads and trying to sip on it a little bit throughout the day, especially before meals, because it really does help with um, keeping that overgrowth from getting completely out of control. Um, yeah, I know these are kind of like unconventional ways to look at pregnancy, but um, I've really been kind of trying to dig in because I really don't believe pregnancy needs to be this miserable time of your life. It doesn't need to be this like horribly painstaking, you know, nutrient sucking thing. And I know a lot of people who've had really bad vomiting and headaches and exhaustion. And I really haven't experienced most of that, honestly. I've, I've been tired here and there. I've been, I've had weeks that were worse than others, but honestly, for the most part, from what I've heard people describe a pregnancy, it has not been anything like that. And so I'm very thankful for that. I, I do really believe a lot of it does come back to the work that I did before even getting pregnant, um, with just really supporting my body nutritionally, because that's honestly the only thing I could, I could honestly really trace it back to. Like there have been times I've had like an onset of a headache and I would drink a bunch of raw milk and it would go away right away. So I know that like what I'm doing to support my body is really helping, um, but I really don't believe this needs to be such a miserable time. So when there is something that's kind of like a little bit more extreme, I am digging 
like nobody else for answers and remedies and things like that because I I don't want to be miserable. I really want to enjoy pregnancy and a lot of that has been very fruitful. I honestly think so many people will write off symptoms of pregnancy just as normal and common and oh that's fine it's just normal but I really don't think it has to be that way. I don't think like really bad nausea and vomiting and all of that needs to be that way. Uh, I think we can really support our bodies if we're intentional and if we have the right information because honestly the right information is not often readily available and it's been some digging it's been some digging and I honestly have a bunch of really really good video ideas coming out your way because like I had to dig for some of this information and I really don't think it should be that way so I'll be having videos coming out on supplements I'm taking and you know different nutritional support and detox support that i've been doing in pregnancy to really help support my body and feel the best that i could and i hope that's helpful because i think yeah everybody's got different perspectives but i don't really want to sit in misery and just like not do anything about it if i can so i will include some footage of the final products and everything but i gotta get going because time is of the essence if you got any value out of this video please comment below if you have something else in my life that you'd like to see um, i'm gonna start vlogging hopefully regularly here on my channel and as always it is my passion to walk alongside people as they heal and grow it inspires me and hopefully brings encouragement to you thanks for watching